when I was trying to work out what I needed to do next, I did try to look at some playthroughs and every single playthrough I found either did not complete, well most of them didn't complete the game. I may have found one that did complete the game, but the voice of the person was just so annoying to me, so I didn't want to watch that one. And not a single one used normal colour like this. They all had it as... This. They all had it as black and white. <clears throat> <clears throat> Which made it very hard to watch as well. So I'm glad I have played it in colour the whole time. So, we need to fast travel back to Fort Hope. And talk to the lady in red again. Or, as we know, Alison. Your father sent Clement Wright to kill you and Simon. But why? Why would my own father do such a thing? He claims he feared you would bring back the doom of the colony. Then perhaps he was right. Perhaps I did. What if this is all my fault? Your father killed Tabitha. I feared you would say that. I think I already knew. I felt her dying. So much pain. So much fear. But we, were, but she was so desperate to live. She was pregnant. Oh God. But how can that be? She never told me. I suppose that's why she was crying. She didn't think I could un understand. Thank you for redeeming first Zeke's. And so she ran away, knowing she couldn't stay here. That must be why father was so angry. Why he couldn't just bring her home. He must have blamed mother. He must have told himself that it was her fault that he had to kill Tabitha. What about Tabitha? I believe her torment is feeding off the fear and anguish of those who remain here. Freeing the wraiths you have met may help to quell her, ray, her wrath. Is there some way you can convince them to let go of that which keeps them here? You must try. If you choose to go to her without releasing them, I expect you will find it a harder task to reason with her. There we go. There's more to do. She is too angry to approach. You must convince those wraiths to depart. How have I not broken this box? Nothing else around here. So what I might do, I'll start at the first map and just work my way through the maps again for the rates or the shadows. Sounds like that's what I need to do. Tabitha Markley is complete. James Rowe uh, at the top. Philippa Markley is worried about her daughter Tabitha, who vanished mysteriously one night. James never mentioned Tabitha. Tabitha was found, was fond of an Indian boy and sometimes snuck away to see him, but she always returned. 
Alison remembers Tabitha crying the night before she vanished. Tabitha wouldn't say why. James claims he disowned Tabitha for running off to the Indians. James rode into the forest to search for Tabitha, but didn't find her. Ah, uh, yes he did. He lied about not finding her. He caught up to her on her way to, to a nearby Indian village and forced her to tell him the truth. He stripped away Tabitha's clothing to expose her pregnancy, then cut her throat to avenge his honour. He was outraged that she had become pregnant by an Indian and that she gave herself to him willingly. Alison claims she felt her sister's death as well as her desire to live. Alison didn't know Tabitha was pregnant. Alison found Tabitha in the for Forbidden Wilds, surrounded by the dead. She burned her to try to set her free, but Tabitha only grew angrier and more deadly. Ah. <sighs> You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could listen to Edmund playing his flute by the cook fire. I wish he hadn't seen me as he came around Dodd's Hill. If only I saw him first and hid in the shrubs until he passed. If only I didn't kill him. I reckon this might be a choice. So I'm going to read both before selecting one. Your deeds cannot be undone. Release the regrets that bind you here and be at peace. To hide a monstrous sin, you committed a worse one. Let your selfishness curse you to torment. Now I've got to go the first one. Your deeds cannot be undone. Release the regrets that bind you here and be at peace. I'm going to do the better one no matter what their past has been. I'm going to do the better one for them all. You must not remain here any longer. I wish I had found my son a moment sooner. That his fingers had still been warm when I pried the pistol from his hands. That I could have handed over a chastened boy to his mother. Rather than lying, laying a corpse at her feet. I wish I could find Martha on a hillside on a warm and pleasant morning. I want her to be smiling and for us to sit side by side, holding each other's hands and talking about our son, who is not dead. Wishing won't change the past or s salve your sorrows. Release the anguish that binds you here and be at peace. Or, your neglect cost you your son his life and drove your wife to despair. Let your carelessness curse you to torment no can't do that definitely the first one think i'm hearing something out this way so it's the race and shadows by the looks of it Yep, black and white it is. I've got 69 health. <laughs> Martha Eastgrove. You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could hold my son again. I want to hear him call to me. I want to see him running through the tall grass, laughing. His hair golden in the bright sunlight. 
It is useless to long for that which can never be. Release the longing and sorrow that bind you here and be at peace. That's the one I will be doing. But by taking your own life, you burden your husband for with further remorse. Let your selfishness curse you to torment. Why would I be so rude to them? There's another one done. Something out in the distance this way. Yeah, I think pretty much the rest of the game is going to be in this black and white zone. drive you crazy with the game being in this zone or the stories that people are being forced to stay here with Getting close. Oh, didn't even know there was a part of Hogwarts like that. I don't think I need to go up there, do I? Nope, there it is. Edmund Godham, you must not remain here any longer. I wish I could be the one to tell Captain Eastgrove of the Spaniards to have him praise me for my service to the colony. It is futile to wish for what can never be. Release the longing that binds you here and be at peace. Or... It was your lack of vengeance that cost you that chance. Let your carelessness curse you to torment. So, basically, I've been told by Alison that I need to convince these people to leave to make the final approach to her sister easier. But for each one, they're giving me an obvious good answer and an obvious terrible answer, which I'm sure they won't leave with. Why would I say the option that's not going to make them leave? <laughs> Move on to the next place. Why would I intentionally make it harder for myself like that? Samuel Mallard. This is the piece of... This is the guy that raped the girl and then lied about it and got his captain killed for it. You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could meet that girl in the woods again. Only this time we just pass her by. If she stares at me, it's curiosity and not because I heard her. And I wish I could look up from my whittling and see the captain coming through the gate with his arms full of firewood. I suppose that's... 
he's, he's regretting what he did, I guess. That's something. Doesn't forgive him. The harm you did cannot be undone. Release the guilt that binds you here and be at peace. You callously shattered a girl's innocence and caused her life to be cut short. Yeah. Then doomed a man to terror and death for a blunder he greatly regretted. Let your savagery curse you to torment. I feel so much I want to do that one. But I don't I want the end to be easier. <laughs> he deserves what he gets, everything he gets. He willingly done terrible things. The harm you did cannot be undone. Release the guilt that binds you here and be at peace. I've gotta do it. It'd be what Allison would want as well. I feel. There you are. And this is the other one that was a part of it. But this guy didn't do as much. Richard Wilkinson, you must not remain here any longer. I wish I could look across the yard and see all the men gathered around their fire, joking or arguing or sulking, but alive. If only I had chosen their lives over pride and honour. Choices cannot be unmade. Release the guilt and sorrow that bind you here and be at peace. Or, it was your responsibility to weigh the risks before giving orders. Let your rashness curse you to torment. No, Richard Wilkinson was the captain, wasn't he? So I think he was innocent. He was a good guy. Choices cannot be unmade. Release your guilt. Yay! Free six lost souls. Married to William Eastgrove, mother of John Eastgrove, was for Martha Eastgrove, shot herself in grief, o grief over the accidental death of her son. She has been released. And William Eastgrove found it for Henry. Worried about his wife, Martha, grieving over the accidental death of his son, found his wife after she shot herself and stayed with her until she died. He has been released. Edmund Goddam hasn't returned from patrol near Dodds Hill. Planned to warn William Eastgrove about a, Spaniard, a Spanish encampment he found southeast, southwest of Fort Henry. Murdered by Gregory Ward, he has been released. Samuel Mallard, found at the st a century post south of Fort Henry, fought in a skirmish near the century post, raped an Indian girl, blamed the crime on Richard Wilkinson, yep, we Richard was the captain, to hide his own guilt and exact revenge, he has been released. Gregory Ward, found at Fort Henry, spied for the Spanish, murdered Edmund Godham to protect his secret. He has been released. And Richard Wilkinson, went out to gather firewood and return, never returned. Killed by Indians, caused the needless deaths of several men at the sentry post south of Fort Henry. Fort Henry. Killed by Indians in retaliation for a rape and murder he did not commit. Implicated by Samuel Mallard in revenge, he has been released. 
even if I wasn't... He's one I would have released, even... If I had the gender and gen, the actual choice, and it wouldn't have any side effects on anything else, he would. I would have released him. I would not have released Samuel. Not a chance. I believe this one's at Hilltop Camp. There he is. Isaac Cantrell. I can't remember his story. You must not remain here any longer. I wish that girl had run away at the sight of us. That she had known to fear dogs such as us. I wish she was safe with her family. You cannot undo the harm you cause. Release the guilt that binds you here and be at peace. Your cruel and savage deeds shattered many lives. Tell your selfish, let your selfishness curse you to torment. I can't remember what he done, but I'm definitely going to go that one. Isaac Cantrell murdered an Indian girl, killed her so she couldn't tell anyone he had raped her. Ah, he was the other one. His wasn't as bad as the other one because that's all he done. The other one not only done that, blamed it on someone else so he didn't, so he would be okay. Killed in, by an Indian when he admitted his crime. Yeah, at least he admitted he done it. He has been released. So I don't know if I would have released him. I believe that's going to be... The next one is into for Fort St. George. Which, for Fort St. George, I need to... Change the settings. I'm just going to leave him with these settings while I'm here because it's not, I'm not going to be here for long and I have to change it again to, oh, what? I guess I'll have to tra fast travel to the gate and run through. The game crashed. Yeah, the, these circles are bugged onto the map. I'll just double check with this one just out here. It is dug up, but it's on the map because the game crashed at one point. It should work this way. I'm sure I have fast traveled into there the other way before. Here we are. Now we can fast travel up here.
You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could see Emma through the congregation in front of the church. I want our eyes to meet and for us to smile at each other. No shouting or chanting or screams. I even wish I could see her heavy with child. Because any infant would be a gift in this place. Any joy would be a blessing. You can now unmake your choices. Let go of the guilt that binds you here and be at peace. He got Emma pregnant. So his story, he got Emma pregnant. Then told everyone that he was bewitched to sleep with her. And then everyone believed that Emma was a witch. And the only way to cure her witchcraft that had, she'd caused was to kill her. Remember Emma's screams and let your selfishness curse you to torment. So that wasn't all of it. He... Like, people started saying she was a witch. He went along with saying she was a witch to save himself from being accused of adultery. Because his wife wanted to get pregnant but he couldn't get her pregnant or didn't try to get her pregnant they he got their maid pregnant instead you cannot un make your choices let go of the guilt and bind that binds you here and be at peace Oh no, that was Charity. That was the wife. So this was the wife. I was thinking it was the husband, but it's the wife. Found at St. Fort St. George, wife of Tobias Hammond. I thought that was Tobias. Allowed Emma Clark to be executed for witchcraft, despite knowing that the charges were false. So she never convict she never said that Emma was a witch, but she also never said to anyone that she wasn't. And that's what she's stuck here for. Because she's got guilt that she never tried to save Emma. She has been released. So yeah, I'm glad I released her. Calvin Stevens. I wish I could call to my wife and see her waving to me, but this time the horse doesn't scream or rear up, rear up and Winifred is still beaming with a reach her when I reach her. This time, even if Emma is there at the fence, there is no blood on her hands. Our hands are all clean. Calvin Stevens is the first one that accused Emma of witchcraft. And said that it was Emma that made the horse kill his wife. You cannot change what happened. Let go of the sorrow and guilt that bind you here and be at peace. You doomed Emma Clark to, to undeserved suffering in your eagerness to revenge your wife. Let your selfishness curse you to torment. If it wasn't going to make it harder, I probably would do that one. I'll get away from the place a bit first. Stop the ringing of the bell. Calvin Stevens. Founder for St. George. Husband of Winifred Stevens. Sentenced Emma Clark to burn as a witchcraft.
yet sentenced Emma Clark to burn for witchcraft, he has been released. Oh, I'm very close. Was there somewhere else here? Someone else here? Ah, yes. Emma. You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could walk back from the woods besides Tab Tobias with no cause for guilt or fear as his wife and not his shameful secret. I wish our children could run beside us laughing. It is futile to pine for what could never be. Release the sorrow and longing that bind you here and be at peace. Such dreams are rooted in Charity Hammond's misery. Let your selfishness curse you. Oh, I could never curse her. Emma Clark, Charity Hammond's maidservant, involved in an affair with Tobias Hammond, became pregnant by him, burned as a witch at Fort St. George, she has been released. I think this is the other end of the... It's north of the camp. Why are these all burnt? They weren't burnt before. They were just opening... Openings in the gates, weren't they? They were just gates, weren't they? There you are. Tobias Hammond. You must not remain here any longer. I wish I could take it all back. That I could say that Emma is no witch and that she did nothing wrong. That the guilt is all mine. Anything to have never heard her screams. It is useless to regret choices that cannot be unmade release the guilt and sorrow that bind you here and be at peace that's definitely the way I'll do you subject subjected your wife to misery and loneliness and abandoned Emma Clark to, to sorrow and agony let your selfishness curse you to tor torment nah he did regret what he had done Although it was, he did do it to save himself, which wasn't good. Husband of Charity Hammond, involved in an affair with Emma Clark, accused Emma Clark, Clark of witchcraft so that he would not be hang, would not hang as an adulterer, killed himself shortly after Emma was burned. He has been released. He done that because he basically regretted what he had done the whole time so it doesn't make anything he done any better actually I think welcome in primordial and thank you for redeeming second you got me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, which way does it... Fort Henry's the next one, isn't it? No. Fort Henry is back. Was it north? Valley Road, I think it's north.
I think it's shut because the bell's still ringing. I did clear out this area, didn't I? Yep. I thought I had. So this is why on the maps, yeah, the gate's open now. 